investigated the whole literature that's available on composition differences between organic and conventional foods, crops, um, so plant foods. For a lot of people who know about organic food production, um, it wasn't a big surprise, but it was obviously um, very welcomed that, um, you know, overall uh, these studies um, uh, showed a significant, um, uh, a significant difference in what most nutritionists believe are um, very important compounds, these antioxidants. They are, they are one of the reasons why um, people advise us to eat more fruit and vegetables, because fruit and vegetables are full of these antioxidants. So organic production resulting in crops having more antioxidants, um, well, that, that, that would be generally seen as a, as a good thing. In the UK, um, we had we, we had a reduction uh, in sales uh, at the onset um, of the recession. Uh, from 2008, um, organic sales, particularly for animal products, uh, declined by between 10 and 20 percent. And then in 2009, when the FSA study was published, um, that reinforced consumer perceptions uh, about. Um, you know, basically the Food Standard Agency saying uh, you're wasting your money um, didn't exactly uh, accelerate organic sales. So when our study came out and showed, um, well, what, what we believe in a, in a very um, scientifically sound way, um, that there is uh, significant differences. Um, the sales went up again. Um, since. August, when we, um, when our study was published, and um, the BBC and um, several of the big newspapers reported it, um, sales have gone up about three percent every month. So it has an impact. Uh, the consumers listen to these scientific studies. I'm convinced um, because if you, if you think about it, we we are completely dependent on non-renewable -re resources for conventional production and you know just just one of those resources um, running out like for example phosphorus or potassium um, and pe people estimate ph phosphorus will only last another 30 to 100 years well then the yields in conventional farming unless they start doing what organic farmers do already will go down by about 50 percent yeah that's significantly lower than organic has already achieved now